Hello everyone, my name is Saur Maiti and today we are going to do our fifth lesson of the course that is HTML styles. We are going to read about the various style attributes and how background color is applied, how text color is applied in our text so that we can enhance our website projection. So let's start our topic of the day. What style? Style is basically uh, applying various properties in our website so that we can enhance its beauty or the content displays how the content displays we can improve that for using that we need to write the sim uh, this syntax how the syntax works let's see that the basically syntax works in the css property we are going to read this in our next course see about css so let's start with the basic tag name style is equals to property colon value semicolon we write this in double quotes and then close the tag. So this is the basic syntax of the HTML styles. We are going to apply this in everything that we are going to study further. So remember this syntax. So let's start. HTML background color. What do you mean by background color? In website normally we see the background color is white. So we can always change that background color according to the HTML color coding that are possible to apply in a website that are also feasible and visible in the website so let's do this with the small example we have here this is the example with the body tag only the content between the body tags so you can copy this and put this in your own code and run it over in the web browser and you will see the how the background color is changed the background color is applied completely over the website so we need to use this in the body tag body style is equals to background color colon powder blue semicolon we write this in double quotes then we close this tag then h1 this is a heading h1 tag close p this is a paragraph p tag close then body is close this is the complete code and when you will run this your background color will change to powder blue you can see this over your own browser and see the output how it works now let's read about the text color what do you mean by text color the color property defines the text color of an HTML you have seen in many websites like the two paragraphs are differentiated by writing different them with different colors so how can we implement that in our own website let's see that we have to write this in the various tags that we are using like if you want to text uh, change the text color of your heading you have to use this in the heading tag if you want to change the text color of your paragraph you want to then you you have to use this in your p tag like this example h1 style is equals to color blue this is a heading h1 close p style is equals to color red this is a paragraph p tag close when you will run this then you will see the output that heading is turned into blue color and displayed in blue color and the paragraph the content in the paragraph is displayed in red color you can use this in your own website and see how the output varies now moving forward we see HTML fonts what do you mean by font font are the different kinds of uh, means font families that show how the content must be displayed that the various attributes so using this we can apply various fonts h1 tag style is equals to font family vardana this is a heading h1 close p style is equals to font family courier this is a paragraph p tag close these differences you will find when you will run this in your own browser so i will suggest you to copy these tags and insert this between the body tag and run this so that you can see the uh, difference between these now moving forward let's see what's the text size you have seen that some texts are displayed in normal some are displayed in bigger size or some are displayed even smaller than the normal size how do we change that let's study about that these are the font size property that defines the text size for using this we used these tags h1 style is equals to font size 300 percent then we write this is a heading h1 tag close p style is equals to font size 160 percent this is a paragraph p tag close 
what's the main difference between that so we have used in this 300% means it will be 300 means 300% so it will be around 3 times bigger than the normal font text and 160% means 1.6 times bigger than the normal font text you can use them in your own notepad and see how the difference is created so that text size you can uh, vary how it uses HTML text alignment what do you mean by alignment you have seen that some heading is in the center of the text or of the website how to use that we can see using the text alignment alignment defines basically the position of your text from where it should start or uh, how you can use it for aligning the text we can see from this styles h1 style is equals to text align center centered heading p style is equals to text align center centered paragraph so using this you will see that the heading is in the center basically around this side and the paragraph is also in the center around here because you have aligned it in the in the center so you can use these tags now let's come to the ch chapter summary we have studied about how to use the style attribute and about its syntax then we have further studied about how we can apply the background color in our website and how we can change the background color then we have studied about the colors how to change the text color this is the most important because changing text colors define the styling or the beauty of your website then we have studied about the font family various font families like Verdana courier that you can apply in your own website and see how it works then we have studied about the font size these sizes help to display the content uh, smaller or bigger as you like in your website and how the beauty defines it is also done, done by font size then we have studied about the text alignment this is the last topic how you can align your text and where you want to your text to start like you can do it right you can do it left or you can do it center center is most basically used for headings because all the headings are commonly in the center part so this was the chapter summary and i hope you all like my videos so if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to give any reviews then you can write the comments and please rate this so that we can uh, improve our lectures and please subscribe to my page so that you are attached to this uh, lessons and get notification whenever you want uh, I upload a new lesson so thank you for everyone